from a statistical point of view, this is a randomized blinded study, which provides the optimal validation of our results. We asked three questions on our survey. Uh, do you know which wing do you think that the restaurant provided uh, in terms of guessing the, uh, the treatment assignment, whether it was Anchor Bar or Duff's wings? Uh, we then asked, do you like the wing, yes or no? And then we had a 10 point rating scale, uh, a Liker type scale in terms of the taste value, 10 being best, one being worst. And that was our ultimate uh, end point. But for the first thing in terms of the guesses, I'll use A for Anchor Bar, D for Duff's, and going across in the rows, and people have the choice of saying they guessed whether they received Anchor Bar Wing, Duff's Wing, or Undecided. And so in terms of those results, 7, 1, 6. So seven out of 14 people properly guessed that they received Anchor Bar, so half. In terms of Duff's, four, four, and 10. So most people didn't guess properly whether they received Duff's or not. So in some sense, this validates the sort of the blinding component of our study in which people really didn't know which chicken wing they were eating. I think this uh, legitimizes our results of the true comparison of taste and I should say that we use the medium formulation here, okay? That was very well thought out. We used the medium formulation of the chicken wing. We went between the mild and hot, thinking that was the most reasonable approach. So, we ran it on our supercomputers. Very important uh, information here. And this is uh, critical to people in Buffalo in terms of their chicken wing fanaticism. And the first thing in terms of the binary endpoint was just a yes, no. Do you like this wing? Yes, no. So you're either getting received, you either received an anchor bar wing or a dust wing in a randomized fashion. And so on the yes, no version, let's see, anchor bar again, duffs. 100% of those receiving the anchor bar said they enjoyed that medium style wing. In, in terms of uh, Duff's, it is 88.9% said they enjoy the Duff's wing. So while this is descriptively uh, a difference between those favoring Anchor Bar, statistically the results were not significant, the p-value being, uh, where's the p-value, give me one second. You can edit this a little bit. P equals 0.19, all right? So statistically, it's a tie, but there's some trend towards people favoring the anchor bar wing who received the anchor bar wing. Um, but that wasn't our primary endpoint. Our primary endpoint was a 10 point scale, one to 10, 10 being best, one being worst, in terms of your overall rating of the taste. So let me get to that. information. I'm sure the whole world is waiting on this information. This may be the most important scientific project that I've ever done at the University of Buffalo. <laughs> on our 10 point scale, Anchor Bar had an average score of 7.6 uh, with a standard, with a, let's see, do a range from 5 to 10. So Anchor Bar, 7.6 rating, the scores range from 5 to perfect 10s. On the Duff's results, Duff's, 7.5, with a range from 4, I think they got some perfect 10s as well, to 10. So again, a modest trend favoring Anchor Bar, however, we did a ordinal regression model, and the p-value of this comparison was 0.70, or let's just say 0.7. 
again, a statistical tie. So I want to point out that in both endpoints, there's a slight trend towards anchor bar, but statistically these are not different uh, values. In fact, we, if we wanted to detect, our study was designed to detect a 1.5 one, a 1 1.5 point difference between anchor bar and duffs. So if a 1.5 difference were to exist, we would have been able to detect that statistically with our sample size. If in fact we wanted to detect such a subtle difference of 0 0.1, let's call that uh, delta equals 0.1, we would need roughly 5,000 subjects per group, okay? So there may or may not be a subtle difference between anchor bar and duffs but with our study designed to detect a 1.5, approximately 1.5 difference, we would call this a statistical tie. So, um, again, the motivation of this was a Food Network show, which Anchor Bar versus Duffs were compared, and they had three raters. One was an Anchor Bar person, one was a Duff person, one was a neutral person. So, in fact, on the Food Network, they claimed Duffs was the winner two to one, but I would, I would consider that just a statistical fluke in that that one person just could have gone either way. If we had five people, it probably went two to three. If we had 10 people, it probably went five to five. If we had 20 people, it might be nine to 11, okay? So anchor bar and duffs, if you really wanna see who's head to head, you need to run a study with several thousand uh, Buffalonians, okay? Um, and so that is the end, the official results of the chicken wing challenge, a statistical draw, However, there was a slight trend towards anchor bar in both endpoints.